And Kenny, oh, we have lots to talk about. One thing coming up on the horizon, the trade deadline. Hmm. Front offices have had time to evaluate rosters. What are your feelings about blockbuster in-season trades? Huge deals are rare in the season, honey. You know, huge typically deals. huge deals. You know, but typically they come in the off-season because teams have time to nurture and bring them together. But there have been some great trades in mid-season. Uh, so you can fly, find new life right after the trade li deadline, a la Clyde Drexler of the Houston Rockets oh. to get us our second championship. Good point. New players would be slow to acclimate. But, I, I mean, I think at times you risk disrupting chemistry. Mm. Sometimes worth the risk and sometimes not. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I feel like a nut and sometimes, sometimes I don't. Kevin Harlan, take it away. All right, welcome back to a new place, NBA 2K18. We're taking on the Phoenix Suns. Uh, if you heard the trade deadlines are coming up, uh, who knows who could be involved with that? Maybe a DJ could end up getting traded somewhere else, a bargaining chip for somebody, but who knows? Oh, I've got somebody coming in on the phone message. Brian says, Nike's at my office and ready to make a pitch. Uh, Nike. Yeah. Can't make it. Need to reschedule. you got to be kidding me. Right before a game? I'll be right over. Okay. Uh, maybe it's not that close to a game. Let's see if we can get out of here and, uh, no. It'll have to be after the game, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll be right over after the game. Brian. DJ wins. That's what you are. You get it? Instead of spins, wins. <laughs> whatever, man. What? Uh, whatever? Really? Listen, man, whatever is distracting you, you got to clear your head. Right. Let's play a game. Devin Booker. Everybody keeps telling me study D books. D books. Brooke, what's up with you, man? How you doing, man? Good, man. How about yourself? Good, man. Good. Do you have any advice for me being in the league? Man, first year, just take your time with everything, man. Just trust the process for yourself. All right, for sure, man. For sure. Well, we got to kick it. Yeah, we can. You know, every year my time, young every bucks. Your time. We got to stay together. Let's do it, man. All right, for sure. Have All a good right, game, bro. man. You too, bro. All right. All right, let's go. It's the home of the Celtics here in Boston as 2K Sports brings you today's action live. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. All right, I'm still not starting. Horford's still starting. I did get a season-high 19 points the last game, so I am in getting more points on the board, uh, but... Uh, Hey, this you know, is an interesting point of the season, Brent. My defense is still a little extent. lacking. Easy to lose focus. So that being said, how do coaches keep their guys? All right, we got five, four, uh, five minutes left in the half. Five and almost Irving six minutes. Smart. Here's Irving, coming off a solid outing against Philadelphia. And Irving Kyrie. And, and really, he epitomizes what a point guard should be. I mean, his skills as a passer might act by that creativity he shows around the rim. Well, judging by that jam, Greg, I'd say you're absolutely right. And not many players at that position as explosive as he is in a close game just rose up to the challenge. Bledsoe kicks to Booker. Offensive rebound. All on the play. Basket counts. Oh, come on. Play chance. Chandler has had some years where you would consider him one of the most elite rebounders 
in the league uses his height that time to snag the board. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And he is a cool customer at the line, guys. You've got to be when you're shooting 84% on the season. Irving passes to the monster. It's good. Get in there. All right. And we talked the little post move score. Team, they'll all, all right. tell you the same thing. EJ is always putting in that extra work in the gym, easy to believe, given how he's had to Where you going? 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 You ball handler? It is to make it into the NBA. You have to be willing to work even harder. Give me that. Alan, get out. Transition. Let's go. Like DJ, he's making the most of things, though, and you can see the improvement. A tad short, but it's good. All right. Smart's got his first bucket in this one. That's what you want to work for, a high percentage look from deep. Bledsoe dishes the land. Oh, no. Dudley's shot is good. Man, I had a thing stolen and stolen back. Gets, not many guys are going to blow wide open layups at the professional level like that. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, I spoke briefly with Earl Watson. Give me that. It's the first matchup of the season against this team, and he knows that they have great shot blocking. But he did say we've got to remain aggressive and continue to attack. Put the bigs in high pick and roll situations and shoot the jumper with confidence. They feel that's the key, Kevin. All right, David, thanks. Well, the challenge of facing this tough defensive squad is right at the front of their minds. As it should be, because if they're not prepared for every look and matchup that D is going to throw at them, it'll be a long day. I think he has them prepared. Oh, my gosh. The that was a whether they can match the energy and brick in the house. That this team always brings onto the floor. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. Al Horford positions Give me that. himself perfectly and swats that down. Look at yes, now that was some defense there. That was some defense there, man. Then a transition and got the assist. Travel. Maybe that was books there, wasn't it? What's going on? Kept things balanced, and that's what you want to have. An offense that comes Time at out. you in all sorts of ways. And a new group in for the Celtics. Marcus Morris is checked in for Horford. Tatum comes in for Gordon Hayward. Wells is checked in for Smart. And it's Rogier. Shammy's in. in for Irving. A big group substitution here for Phoenix. Bender is checked in for Chandler. Jones comes in for Jared Dudley. Daniels is checked in for Booker. And Knight subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. Here's Wells, and at last, All right. the fall. Ooh. And right from the start, Kevin. And my shot block, man. The glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also. Guess I got the rebound back. And Alex Lynn, the fifth overall pick from the 2013 draft, is with all young centers, Brent. He took some time to adjust to the league. Well, he will turn 25 years old during the season, so you wonder if... Oh, Phoenix come on, man. Play is How do you let him get by like that? rather than what Alex Lynn provides for you in terms of his size, his ability down low to block shots and maybe score some points. But he's a center that still has potential. And Dude, what? The miss there, that was a damn good screen, man. Should have passed it back. Come on, get on, get him, get on, get on. good example of how valuable it can be. A shot by night, no good. Austin leading by four. Down low, pass to Rozier. Ah! Dishes it to Tatum. Now the pass to Wells. Here's the monster. Morris right side. Shot clock at five. Phoenix grabs the miss. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. And this is why depth is so important. You know, next All right, up, five rebounds so far. Philosophy for every good team in our league. So you're going to have injuries. You're going to have nights where there's foul troubles or the start. A little more aggressive on the D and on the boards. To remain consistent in this league. And that one falls for Tatum. Hey, Brent, Jerry West once said that his ultimate lineup would feature five, six, nine players. I feel like that in a league that features so much switching. And you were just talking about this. Would that be the perfect recipe for a versatile lockdown defender? 
Well, I'd take four six nine players and Jerry West. How about that? <laughs> that might be pretty always good. include West with anybody, right? West with anybody. No doubt about it. At six nine, I think what Jerry is doing there, Kevin, is the fact that each cleaning the glass today have a tremendous amount of length to cover up the floor. So foot quickness, lateral movement, and then that length to bother anybody. Come on, Shammy. Yes. Also getting to the Woo, that's what I'm talking Make about, Shammy. Some protection around the interior part of your defense. Right with it. They picked up 12 points in their last one against Detroit. Len sets a screen for Knight. Jones for three. Morris with the rebound. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Here's Tatum. Oh, come on, Tatum. Not a good shot. Not a good shot. Too much people. Too many people there. Too heavily contended. Give me that. Ah. <sighs> That one does ah. Suns trail by nine. Outside night. Pass to Daniel. Screen by Jones. Back tonight from deep three point. Oh, yes. No bad mm. feeling to be able to deliver in a moment like that. Yeah. Those mm. stick with you for the rest of your life. Absolutely. Wow, what a miracle he to finish off the quarter. How'd he get that one to go? He's excited. And so the first quarter is in the books. Celtics lead by six. And back with the start of the second quarter. Not a bad first quarter for Scotty D. All right, let's go. Chandler's caliber and character, Greg. All right, what are we Okay, start of the second. I'm in. That feel in the locker room, that leadership role that everybody believes in and respects. No doubt about it, Kevin. And that weighty stature is built on experience and credentials, as you mentioned, like having that championship. All right. Set the good screen. Come on, get on, get on. Because Chandler has got that cut. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. What do you guys think about the second There we go. Right where we left off. Shammy! Ah. Get on your guy. Get on your guy. And now brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go. Give me that. And Phoenix looking who they've got on the floor. We've got Bender. Williams is out there with Jackson. Then there's Brandon Knight, and it's Daniels in at the shooting guard position. The dish to Well over Daniels. Bender with the rebound. Mm, couldn't get in. Couldn't get in. Three in the first. Let's yet to make another one. Outside Knight. Pick by Williams. Bender kicks to Williams and pulls it down. Allowed inside pass. What type of crap is that? And discuss ways to maximize these possessions. And therein lies the trick, discussing ways to be aggressive, but not committing turnovers. Austin making a switch here. Pounds checked in. This ball movement by Boston. Here's the monster. He's coming off a 19-point game against Philadelphia. Here's Tatum. And slam dunk Tatum. And I really like how fast Tatum gets off the ground. And you know, at 6 8, dunking comes easily, but he's got that forceful mind to pursue the ball. And the Celtics gave up four players to get one in Kyrie Irving, but they already had so much depth, they could afford to sacrifice a bit for a superstar just entering his prime. A good court awareness that time from Brandon Knight. He's a creative guard who has a good feel for when his guys are open. Pass to the monster. It's in. It's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. All right. 
That's my game right there. There's little post moves. That's it. I don't know. Not in a good spot. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Austin making some changes. Gordon Hayward comes in for Morris. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Terry Rozier. Phoenix also making some changes. Dudley comes in for Dragon Bender. And it's Devin Booker in for Danny. That's one he knows he should have drank. Go, Kyrie, go. Feed it. Okay, either way. And now a 10-point Boston lead. You really have to be up on Kyrie Irving, especially when he's this deep. He gets the shot off so quick. Williams, a screen on Irving. Williams, a screen. Jackson in the corner. Booker outside. On deep. Again, the miss by Booker. <laughs> Just testing out the cannon on that misfire. Uh, yeah, we've seen him make this shot work, but uh, they can do better. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. This is the night. Outside Williams. The feed to Booker. The three. The shot will not fall. And it's Boston the other way. Push it, Kerry. Push it. First time matched up with the Suns this season. In their meetings last year, they split the season series. Happens a fair amount between teams. Ah. Yeah, even when okay, it comes too much to ball handling. Where it looks like one side should be the clear favorite. Those brief two-game series often end. And then I get blamed for the score off the turnover. Celtics leading by four. Rozier kicks to Wells. Morris passes to the monster. There's the killer two-handed slam. Give it to me. And very little fight. Dunk on a seven-foot. What was that accolade? To the bucket for the jam. They did seem to take the cautious approach, Greg, when it came to defending that one. You're right. When you're playing from behind, you cannot let your opponent have things that are that easy. And that was easy. And you just get the sense the whole period he's been a bit out of sync. Well, sometimes you just can't figure out what's wrong, but he keeps trying to push through. All right. And Hayward gets it to go. The mindset right now is pretty strong. Superb at staying aggressive and right now stringing some plays together. And here's Daniels. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Detroit. Chandler with a screen for Bender. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Marcus Morris picks one up there. Up by nine. Still up by nine. With potential, a big man who runs the floor well and uses his size down close to the basket. And the Suns making a change here. Knights checked in. Up by eight. There's 25 seconds left in the first half of the game. Inside. Rozier kicks to Hayward. Wells in the corner. Chammy. Oh, come on, buddy. Now Daniels. Knight in the corner. Three-pointer. No good there. And that does it for the first half. All right. All right. Out in Good front. first half. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Hey, you have gotten a lot of work done on the glass tonight. How have you been able to get going at that end? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to stay active and anticipate the shot when it comes off. There you iron. go. You know, a lot of it is just keeping my feet moving and not giving up on the play. Uh, I know that I can feed off my teammates' energy, and if we can get the rebound, that cha that charges them up as well. Well, they are on fire after your performance in the first half. Thanks, guys. Hey, my first on-court interview. Time, I think. The third quarter gets underway. Let's look at the halftime stats. Eight points, nine rebounds, three assists, and two blocks. And Brad Stevens says, stop improvising. They cannot set up. Stop us on the pick and roll. I want to run that play until they forget how to guard us. Understood. Okay. I got gotcha. you. I'm getting you. I'm hearing what you're putting out. All right. 
Let me see. Do I get back in? Okay, third quarter. All right. The days of not getting in the second half seem to be gone. So. Made him out there with Morris, and it's the monster in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the Boston Five. <laughs> Phoenix, no good that time either. And not a night he's going to want to remember, just not really able to score the basketball. Irving for three. Phoenix grabs uh, the miss. After this, boxed one, me out to quite well. On the and they're playing through a string of road games that will be game five of the six on the road. Jackson Give me that board. Tenth board of the game. Himself right now, and get himself going to the inside. Here's the monster. Oh, what the hell, man? Got my shot blocked again. Booker with no one around off the mark there with the three point shot. Well, the defense better look up and say thanks. Leaving guys that wide open is not a recipe for success. And there's the bucket from all right. My thumbs are killing me, man. Forgot to how much uh, this puts punishment on your thumbs playing this game. Now here's Booker, 11 points in the game. Kicks the blood zone. Shot clock at six. Jackson setting the pick here for Bloodson. For three, Booker again, but missed by Booker. Austin leading by nine. And more and more, it's looking like Devin Booker, the 13th pick in the 2015 draft, is going to be one of the biggest right. deals of that draft class. Double double. He's one that all GMs are looking at, and they wish they could have a redo. I mean, Booker was very young when he entered the draft, and some teams maybe shied away from that. But clearly, he's shown that he could be one of the best players in that class some nice ball movement here by the Suns shots good by Bledsoe mm. shooting off the pass that means Bledsoe all right we're up by eight ready to let Let's it go carry the Celtics have gone seven of 13 in the third quarter so far just above 50 percent coming over here setting the pick here's Tatum here's the monster lays it up all right on the nice reverse well, Monster's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, it's not so much just the made shots, it's the consistency of the made shots that's got his team to lead. Booker dishes the land. Fires from 18. Count it in the ah. second. has been cut down now to just eight on the basket from Booker. Well, Booker's just filling it up right now. A tremendous score. Feels like he's getting better. Here's Tatum. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Hmm. Land's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Jackson. Plays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, Jackson's got seven points in the game. Celtics leading by six. Irving kicks to Morris. Loses his man off the screen. All right. Plays it up and in. And I like the different looks that Morris can give you inside, outside, and in transition. And the Suns call time here. All right, we're up by 12 with 210 left in the third. Rolling right along. Got a lot of trouble not committing silly fouls on defense. Now that's where youth plays a huge part, Kevin. Inexperience, not understanding the nuances of the NBA defensive game. And a lot of times what you'll see, Kevin, is young guys getting caught up in the idea that, hey, I stopped my man. I did a good job defensively. And that's not really what team defense is all about, certainly at the NBA level. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Wells is checked in for Marcus Morris. And Terry Got another board. In for Irving. Feeds it to Brown to the inside. Ah, with the rebound. Yeah, not a good shot. He's got his fifth rebound in this one. Knight in the corner. Second chance shot. So he gets the whistle. Mm. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And this gives little us a squirrel got by me. With the highest shooting percentage over the past 10 games. You look at the monster, a great player, second in the league. The Suns really? have gone five of seven from the free throw line in the mm. game. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board. 77% collectively. 
He's shooting two. You got the first one to bounce. Hey, Brent, we know there's a lot of John, a lot of communication out there on the floor. And when you were playing, who was the best trash talker you ever went up against? Well, I played with the notorious one in Seattle by the name of Gary Payton. A lot of people put him pretty high up on their list. Uh, I also remember one Bonzi Wells at his time when he was with the Portland Trailblazers and Sacramento mm. Kings being a bit lippy. And then occasionally there would be a John Barry talking to me, but really? I never listened to him growing up, Kevin. So why would right. I him on the court? <laughs> nice play. Look at me, I got the A plus going here, man. No, no, don't don't let that guy through. 103 left in the third. To the middle. That's good. Uh, uh, that, time from night. that was was that my guy? Shoot, man. And then you gotta love the big Look at the ball handler. Oh sort of what the hell? Shot by Wells, no good. Runs trail on okay. six. Dudley the pass tonight. Back to Dudley. That's tipped. Out of bounds. Boston takes possession. All right. Get credit for a forced turnover. Smart's checked in for the Celtics. Tyson Chandler is checked in for Phoenix. Williams comes in for Bender. Have I been in the entire quarter? Just about. There's 42 seems like. seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Smart kicks to Wells. Pass to the monster. Now here's Tatum. He's covered closely. Again, the ah, couldn't the get Celtics. position. Couldn't get you position. Know, you can't get a better screen. Freeze him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. Oh man, he'd love to have that one back. He just does everything right, but doesn't get the finish. Here's Williams. It's rebounded by. Give me that board. The monsters got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Wells' shot is good. And, you got and the assist. The inside game of Wells. Terrific at getting room to get that one off. Night for three. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's Boston. All right. All right. Getting a lot of playing time here today. Setting the floor for the Suns. We've got Allen Williams. He's out there with Jackson. Chandler out there with Brandon Knight. And it's Daniels in at the two-guard spot. Here's Knight. And Tatum pulls it down. Yeah, defense timed that out perfectly. Love the aggressiveness. And then they changed the shot's direction. Oh. Sun shooting gets 33%. Struggling Had to a get bad bounce. Daniels bad luck Knight. there. Side Williams. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And how unique is this situation for the Celtics? I mean, one of the best teams. Okay, I'm out and I'm back in with just a minute to go, and we got this game locked down. Hey, I had a lot of points this uh battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Celtics. You know, their big advantage was points in the paint. And they found a way to pound the ball inside. And that was working all game long. And so this will mark the 15th win of the year for them. So they'll take the first game I get credit the for the screen on that? They didn't give me the screen. Okay. Twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for the Monster. You have to love the way that he was closing out on defensive trips. He would always body up, and it's why he ended with They're so Talking many about DJ there. And as the Nets struggle to rebuild without their draft picks, Greg, their losses have been uh, Boston's game. Yeah, the rich get richer. All right, that was too easy. Celtics sign all-star caliber <laughs> veterans like Al Horford and Gordon Haywood on the open market, and, and it's just rare for a team to have the best record. In Is the it possible they could end up changing uh, trading Horford pick. and let Scotty D be the uh, no. by Wells. He got an advantage there off the pick and took starting it right center in. and finally hitting their stride. This is the run they needed earlier. Well, easier to do once the game is on ice as your opponent sometimes has a tendency to relax. Fouled out. That's my first time I've been fouled all day. And he knocks down the first one. And Come on. Yeah, got them both. 
All right, the game is and over. The Outside night. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly. And All right, we win 101 to 80. Not even close. Mm. 13 rebounds. Real close to that relentless finisher. Nine good screens. Two for two from the line. Picks dodge, Tyler shots, four assists, win bonus. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Points per game's gone up to seven. I'd like to see that going up. It's fans almost up to 100,000. All right. Fantastic game. Listen, Ernie and the guys want to talk to you at the studio. Oh, we get some uh, studio time here. All right. Let's not make a fool of ourselves. Let's make Mama proud. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Hey again, everybody. Ernie Johnson. I got Shaq here. Got Kenny the Jet here. Standing by on headset near the locker rooms, right down the hall, around the corner, we get a chance to catch up with our post game guest. Hey, Kenny here, man. I have to say, this game wasn't even close. Congrats on the win. Now, do you feel this is one of your better team wins? Oh, definitely. Yeah, Kenny, I do. It's it's definitely one of our best games. You know, I felt like I'm not gonna be a really jackass. Of executing and uh, what we wanted to do on both ends of the court, and you know, we were able to play a complete game, start to finish. You know, it's games like this that make me love playing with everyone on this team, and uh, you know, a win like this makes you really excited for the next game on the schedule. Man, you guys look like that's right. Playing with it fresh. What are you doing? All right. And that's going to do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. For the Jet, for the Diesel, for Kevin Harlan, and for the entire 2K Sports crew. The entire 2K Sports crew. That's everyone. <laughs> Ernie Johnson. Have a wonderful evening. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody gone home, man. I gotta head over to the uh, V to uh, VC to. Yeah, what is it? Oh, uh, hey, coach. So listen, how would you feel about, oh, uh, say, joining the starting lineup next game? For real? Are you kidding me? Finally made it. Serious as Shammy playing Flappy Bird. Wow, I can't believe it. Welcome to Star Lineup, DJ. You made a big impression on us really in a pretty short amount of time. Can't wait for that game. All right. It's fantastic. See you at the game, BJ. Rest up. I will. Mind and body. All right. Ooh, what's Devin Booker saying? Hey, good meeting you. Same. Let's hang next time I'm in town. Let's do it. This is Book, by the way. Yeah, I knew who it was, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, we need to head over to... Uh, Mm -hmm. PG 13. Yo, what's up, man? What up, baby? Who are you? I'm DJ. 
Oh, you DJ. Yeah, man. Brian was telling Huge me you was thinking about signing with Nike. I mean, yeah, that's, that's one of my that's, options. That's man. it. You like them? That's I it. Love them. They put fishing into my sneakers. I saw that, bro. Family that ever since. Oh, man. Sweet. Hey, I'm trying to put turntables on the side of mine. You know what I mean? Trying to jam down the court. Oh, you know what it is, man. I gotta show you my music, bro. That's special. Hey, I tell you what. You sign with Nike, I take you fishing with me. Oh, word? Least I could do. All right, man. I'll think about it. I'll let you know. But I appreciate you stopping by, man. Yes, sir. For real. Thanks for I want Nike. Hey, you know it was tough to uh, squeeze you guys in, but we made it happen. <laughs> Wise guy over here, huh? He's got like the perfect personality for a shoe commercial. Yo, yo, yo! Y'all looking at the shoe illustrations right now? My God, be fresh hey, in the B. house right here. I mean, hey, this is I. Hey, hey, B. 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 She's B. part of B. part Why don't of this you whole thing. Run the end. Like the run the end. It looks like a homeless person just kind of wandered in off the trees, but yo, she gets that all the time. It's just her thing. She's uh, she's kind of like an emotional support animal. I call the shots. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is. <clears throat> so let's talk about DJ, huh? That's what we're doing here? Right. Yeah. yeah. Shut up, B. LeBron James. Kevin Durant. Kobe Bryant. Yo, how you gonna name Kobe Bryant third? That's Black Mamba. How you gonna do him dirty? That's too far. B, come on. What, what are we Just doing? Just chill, all right? I'm Let cool. her do the talking. I'm cool. You do the I zipping. I got it under control. <laughs> I don't like her. So sorry. She's a huge Kobe Bryant fan. Who isn't? Actually, I won't tell if you don't. Heard you were a big Mamba fan. Yo, those for me? Bribe. They gonna bless us, sister? I've been on the waiting list for three months. Paul George, Kyrie Irving, Dirk Nowitzki, that's just on the basketball side. You can't touch us in soccer. You can't touch us in track. You can't touch us in tennis. We are the most influential brand in the world. Can't touch you. Can't touch us. We got the best designers, we got the best shoes, and we signed the best athletes, period. Nike is a global reach, and we think you could be a part of that. We could put you in magazines, TV, radio, and someone's sitting there waiting for the bus. They're going to look up and see a poster of you wearing our gear and our shoes. We even think you might be the prime athlete to help us launch the new Nike Connect next season, so... Let's <laughs> go! Don't get so excited. Uh, that, sounds, that sounds acceptable. Hey, 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 ain't you supposed to, like, negotiate or something? <laughs> what, do you want a jersey, too? Yeah, I want a jersey. Lace me up. Head to toe. Right. Sure we can make that happen for you. DJ, let me get that offer over to Brian in a few days. All right. Damn, already? Paul George. Oh. Nice to meet you, DJ. Hope you end up signing with Nike. Still might. Give me like. Huh. All right. All right. Cool. I don't know what I just clicked on there. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. There's a lot going on. I hope you liked the episode. If you haven't uh, already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And we'll catch you next time on A Noob Plays NBA 2K18. Thanks. Bye.